<laughs> Hello, it's me, the one and only uh, Fear Razor, the guy who makes the best Minecraft role plays, and I sometimes play Overwatch and uh, I try to talk about my opinions on people's uh, personal matters and subjects. But uh, hey, uh, how's it going? Nice to meet you. How have things been, guys? It feels like I haven't done an LGP in a while, but I figured today I'd bring one back for you guys because I haven't uploaded in a couple of days, and if you want to know the honest reason for that, it's just because I've been doing things, okay? I have a life! Jeez! I don't just live on YouTube my whole day! Ah. But no, you know, I've, I've been getting caught up in some personal stuff, and you know, with that being said, I do apologize. I don't normally ever miss more than a day of an upload. So, I'm um, really sorry about that. We're back on track again. Um, but yeah, guys, if you're unfamiliar with Let's Get Personal, it's a show where you guys send me your questions, comments, concerns down in the email below in the description, lgp at hotmail.com. And I pick a few now, I used to pick only one, but I pick a few now, and we essentially talk about it. I give you guys my opinion on the person's, um, on their email, but I also like to suggest everybody watching, yes, that means you, to also leave your opinions in the comments below, and be sure to label them, you know, between the number that we do them on, just so that people know who you're talking to. Uh, but with that being said though, guys, we're gonna get right into it. So the first one says, hi, fear. Recently, I have been having some issues at school with myself as well. Oh, sorry, school and with myself as well. For one thing, I've had a hard time with my friends. Lately, they've been copying my work relentlessly, no matter how many times I tell them to stop. I'm a straight-A student, which makes it harder. I'm trying to cut ties with them, but I'm worried about making new friends. You see, I'm really bad at making new friends. And if I do, they're not the type I would want to hang out with. Another thing is, I'm uncomfortable with how I look. My body is more developed than others. And at times, boys may talk about me sexually, which makes me feel really uncomfortable. I am an open person, sometimes aggressive since I'm a Capricorn. Although, when things like these occur, I don't know what to do or how to solve it. Sometimes I try to ignore it, but it just keeps happening, and I want it to stop. Thank you for your time, and I'm sorry if this is long. Amber. Well, Amber, thank you for that uh, wonderful, well-put, and well-constructed email because I honestly already know what to say to you off the bat. Uh, so, first of all, you know, and, and by the way, guys, I've read through the these emails already that you're going to see today. There's going to be a lot of personal rehashing of my life. So, growing up, um, you know, there this was something I noticed that was common among a lot of people, and you're clearly still in school, was that, you know... Kids and people you go to school with are very are still very immature, very childish. None of you guys have figured out life yet. I mean, you're all still kind of kids and stuff, or you're, you're teens. And, you know, these kind of weird situations where, like you've said, your friends are copying your work and stuff, that's, that's pretty immature. Um, and when it comes to making new friends, you know, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a struggle, you know, and, uh... It, it's a little scary, but the thing is though you shouldn't live a life where you'd rather want to hang out with people who make you feel bad than to not have anyone around because at the end of the day being alone is a lot better than being told you're worthless or feeling like you're worthless or feeling like these people that are in your life are making you feel You know what I mean like they're making you uncomfortable and you're telling me that there's there's boys that are talking about you in ways that's making you feel uncomfortable. And you know what? The thing I've got to say about that is that, you know, people are cruel. Not just guys. Girls are cruel. But guys are cruel. We're all immature around this age. And if this is all happening in school, you know, there's many ways to go about it. But I think the strongest thing I could tell you to do is to have to grow the mentality to walk it off and be confident in yourself because you got to ignore the idiots and there are many idiots out there that'll try to ruin your day drag you down and say the worst things to you but if you're able to have that will and confidence to know that all the things that they say doesn't matter then you're already growing into a strong person because they don't know who you are and as long as you know that the words that are coming out of their mouth is not true or it you know it's it's unaffecting you then you're already on the right track and that's all a part of growing up and kids and teenagers you know what five ten years from where they are now 
they're gonna see the wrongs that they did and learn so that's what I'm gonna say about that Amber and uh, I hope things get better and also look in the comments below see what other people have got to say for your situation all right so let's move on to number two which says hello Jordan my name is Marshall and I have a problem I need help with so I'm in grade 7 I feel like nobody cares about me I feel this way because I have new friends and the friends that I do have mostly hang out with other people and ignore me I have even I had even got into a pop a group of popular students or at least I thought I did but nobody noticed me or paid attention to anything I was saying I've always been an outsider for the past few years and I'm even taking on social skills uh, oh my god why am I yawning right now oh sorry I haven't slept much uh, and I'm even taking a social skill class because of this so I'd like some advice on how to how to make things get better thank you and good night well my friend Marshall uh, you're already on the right track you're already trying and you're already trying to better yourself you're already doing something that needed to happen and that's and I mean you're young you're in grade 7 and I will tell you this right now from even grade 7 to high school I literally was in the same position as you and you know I really think it's a matter of experience I think it's like when you're the younger you are and the more things you experience I think the quicker you catch on to life and learn from these mistakes because honestly I had I was kind of going through these things more in high school if anything if I'm being honest because in junior high I wasn't the most social guy but in grade in high school was when I was hanging out with people who didn't really try to make me feel wanted or around so if this is happening to you already I think it's best to say that you know it's don't hang around people that you don't feel comfortable with don't hang around people that don't really feel like your friends because they might be popular or because you know you're down because honestly this is the thing being alone and like guys I'm not trying to say being alone is great it's not uh, it sucks but at the same time though you know when you're young and there's so many things to do and you're living in a time now where there's technology everywhere games and all this stuff computer the computer the internet you know when I grew up I didn't really have a whole lot of that I mean I had a bit but not to the extent that's at now so what I'm trying to say is you're on the right track to fix your social skills you know be around people that are positive that make you feel happy and good about yourself uh, don't be around people that f make you feel like they're ignoring you because trust me it's a terrible feeling and you begin to question if it's you and if it's you know if it's how you are but it's not it's them it's how these people are so you're working on your social skills try and find new friends and if you find more friends that are doing this to you just move on seriously it, the, the more confident you get in yourself look at yourself treat yourself like you know if these people don't want to be your friends then they're the ones losing out don't look at it as if you're losing out look at it the other way around and yeah hopefully Marshall that solves your problem and again leave look in the comments below guys go in the comments type some stuff type some advice help these people out and we'll move on to the, th the last thing, <clears throat> the last question. So it says, hi, my name is Sophia and I am 17 years old. Very awkward when it comes to making new friends and such. My senior prom will be next year and I'm afraid that I won't be able to go out with someone. I want to take a boy so we can slow dance, but I don't know how to talk about making things sensationally awkward. Any advice on how to make new friends? By the way, I love your Overwatch videos. Thanks. Well, thank you, Sophia. Um, you know, okay. So, I know guys and girls are different, mentally. We look at things differently. But I'll still give you the best advice that I could probably think of for anybody out there. And that is essentially, guys, when it comes to awkward things in life. You know, there's always that thing about being awkward that makes you not want to go ahead with it. Whether it be to tell someone you like them, tell them how you feel. If it's, you know, going up to a group of new people you've never met before, trying to be their friends. You know, it's, this This is the thing. Yes, it's awkward. Yeah, you might feel a little uncomfortable. But guys, every, t every scenario that you play and you push yourself in an awkward experience, you grow from it. You learn from it. And you contain that awkward feeling you all, that we all have when you're dealing with something. When, for example, 
Uh, Sophia, you, you want to take a boy out to prom. Or, yeah, to, to slow dance and stuff. To senior prom. Find a boy that you like, and just ask them. I know, I know, easier said than done. But the thing is, guys, you need to, you need to, you need to grow that willpower to be able to do something you're not comfortable with, step out of your comfort zone, and to just suffer out the consequence of those emotions. Because when you actually look at it, for example, you go up to this boy, you ask them to go to senior prom, senior prom, and they say no, or they say they're with someone else. And then you feel so awkward, and you're like, oh my god, my whole world is crumbling down. But wait, after, you know, those feelings go away and you're okay again, you kind of sit back and realize that you now know what that feels like. And you're almost prepared for it the next time. And then when it happens again and you ask another boy and they say, oh no, or something else awkward comes up, and you're like, oh, wait a minute. I almost was ready for this. You almost know what to expect. And the more you go through these scenarios and these situations, whether it even be with just, again, talking to, meeting new people, you just learn to be more confident with it because the more you're, you, you get used to that feeling or the more you're prepared to know how that outcome will feel if it goes that you know, way, you learn from it, you get better from it. And that's what growing is all about in the self-esteem. So if you're a guy, if you're a girl, whatever, and you want to go out there and and you want to do things but you're uncomfortable about it, just do it. That's right, I'm quoting Shia LaBeouf here. Just do it, suffer it out, prepare for the consequences, and move on and do it again. Because at the end of the day, when you've done this, let's just say, hopefully not this many times, let's say you do it dozens of times, you will be such a pro and such a master of these situations that no one will even see the a sliver of unconfidence in you. You will be the most confident person ever. So I'm gonna that's that's all I've got to say. So Sophia, I hope I hope this was helpful. And I hope this was good advice. And that advice also applies to making new friends. Just find you know what making new friends is a bit of a process. You find some people that you can relate with Talk to them and just see where things go. That's really all it is. But with that being said, though, guys, that is my Let's Get Personals for today. Again, don't forget to leave in the comments below your advice for these for these wonderful people who sent these emails. And, of course, if you've got your own, be sure to send them in all in the description below the email. Anyways, <laughs> and leave a like, subscribe, and also check out my second gaming channel, which I'm uploading stuff on as we speak. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.